Hey y'all, it's Dominique. I got my hair cut professionally. I think I got about three inches cut off. Um, yeah, tomorrow's Sunday, I'm going to church and I wanna kinda refresh my hair, press my edges a little bit, what edges I got left, pin curl it, and then we'll be good for church tomorrow. I also am gonna show y'all a little bit of a linked check so y'all can see what my hair looks like. But yeah, can't wait for y'all to see my new ends. If you haven't already, please like this video. I have my trusty dusty titanium flat iron, 300 degrees. I might turn it down to 275-ish, maybe. I don't want too much steam to get in my hair because it's just going to frizz up and it's not gonna last. Chi, silk infusion, my combs, and let's get started. My gray streak, she is still here and she's bringing friends. Yeah, I talked to the stylist about getting a rinse because I tried to rinse it myself and it didn't work. So I gotta get it professionally done. I tried that, what's it called, gray? Y'all see that? It's supposed to be just for grays, y'all. And my gray hair was like, <laughs> she was like, nah, girl, please, bye. Bye, girl, we stand, we here to stay. I'm gonna have to get it professionally done. But until then, we just gonna rock it out. So let me show y'all what my hair looks like. And what I'm gonna do is try to compare it to my last video and see what the difference is. Yeah, these are my ends now. The hair in the middle is still shorter. Um, honestly, I'm probably gonna end up, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how much more my hair fills up in the middle. In the middle of my hair, it just seems like it's not as dense as it has been previously. Um, for whatever reason, I don't know if that's me, like doing too much manipulation or if it's just age, vitamin deficiency, I don't know. It used to be really short in the middle and it has caught up and it has grown, but I need it to fill in in terms of density. I need it to get more, I need more hair there. So that's it, that's, that's the state of my hair right now, guys. I'm gonna go ahead on and bump it real quick. Actually, I do like it like this, but it just don't, it just doesn't look done. Like this just doesn't look done. This is like, I'm going shopping Saturday for groceries. That's what it's giving. So I'm gonna go ahead on and put a little bump bump in it. So I'm starting with my edges first. Um, as you can see, my edges are kind of like, you know, dusty and I want them to match my hair. So I'm just gonna lightly um, press them out. And um, I use the back of my flat iron to kind of get my edges acclimated to the heat before I go full force. But I only bump it, um, I mean, I only press it like once or twice and then I move on. All right, so I'm taking a quarter size amount of the cheese serum and I'm just putting that all over my hair. I part my hair in half. Um, and I'm just gonna go through and just take big sections or medium sized sections and just bump my, my ends. I'm not doing a full curl and I'm not holding the flat irons like more than, I don't know, 15 seconds on my hair just cause I don't need a tight curl. This is just a little one, two bump, bump. And then we move on to the next section. Um, additionally, uh, I'm also not curling it super tight because I'm going to go behind and um, pin curl my hair anyways. So this bump is just so that my hair will actually maintain a slight curl or wave if you will. Um, if you curl it really tight and then go behind it and pin curl it, you're going to have like super tight curls. Um, and that's not the look that I'm going for. Yep, that's pretty much it. Um, real quick, I just put a dollop of the olive oil moisturizer. It's not water-based, so that's the perfect moisturizer for my hair when it's straight, so it won't revert back. Um, but yeah, I'm about to go ahead and do some pin curls. 
so real quick we're just going to put some loose pin curls um i'm using large sections of hair because i don't want my hair to be really super tight and curly if you want curly curls then just use small sections of hair i'm just going through combing it with my comb real good and just i start from the tip of my hair and i just wrap it around my finger one time and just kind of coil it all the way up and i secure it with one or two bobby pins and that's it And that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.